Hello to everyone, welcome to another video. In this one, Tony is fixing a pair of candelabras. Now these are beautiful antique candelabras and they're owned by Patrick and Stuart of Journey to the Chateau. He bought them at auction but when they were delivered, unfortunately, they were badly damaged and they had some bits that had fallen off. So Tony offered to repair them as best he could once they settled on the insurance. And this is the video about that. It's it's taken me an awful long while to edit because it took Tony a good two, two and a half days working on these and they were like giant jigsaw puzzles. Yes, I think he did a really amazing job. See what you think. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Anyway, enjoy. We're back out in the workshop with Tony, carrying on with the renovation of the candelabra that were badly damaged in transit. These, uh, this belongs to Patrick and Stuart. Oh. So they were, they bought this off an auction house, and these were museum standard. So they've had specially shippers to ship this, pack it themselves, and when they got there, luckily for them, they filmed this as they were unpacking it on their blog. They did an unboxing, didn't they? Yeah. Um, so when they pulled it out of the box, this is what they found. So all of this is bent up at the top. All of the candle holders were bent. You can see how wonky that is, yeah. can't you? The marble had been knocked off the plinths. Yeah, a little bit of breakage there as well. Yeah. So, okay, so you've dismantled the top of one of these I've, already. I've dismantled that, now that's how it is. Obviously, I've left that one as it is because yeah. I want to have to put it back together again. Okay. So I'm doing this one first. Now, unfortunately, this arm here was so bent that I tried to heat it up, because this is bronze, you understand. Tried to heat it up, <clears throat> but unfortunately, it snapped off. So, I tried using... I tried using your, 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 your soldering, uh, your soldering um, uh, blow torch, but unfortunately, I can't get it hot enough. Okay, so you've now bought something else. I bought this braiding kit here. Although it looks pathetically small, this will burn at 3,000 degrees centigrade. Wow. And uh, you obviously use brazing it rods. It obviously comes with nice goggles. Yes. Not because <laughs> not, not it hurts your eyes, because it doesn't. It's just that it's so bright, you won't be able to see what you're doing with yeah. them. Yeah, okay. And obviously, it still protects your eyes as well. Well, as I say, you don't need that because it's not going to hurt your eyes like art world. Really. No. So here it is. Anyway, so this is what you've done. Yeah, so I've This is what you're going to do this repair with. I'm going to, I've cleaned it up and chamfered the top okay. and bottom edges so that I can get some, some meat in there. And that's where she's going. It's quite a fiddly it's job, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's not bad there, actually. So, obviously, Patrick and Stuart have come to an agreement with the company um, for some uh, compensation over this. They had a couple of choices, whether to send them back and get their money back, but they actually really love them. So, as Tony's offered to do his best to restore them as well as he can. So, they still get the benefit of using them, but they have had some recompense for the damage. Yeah, and apparently the insurance company were really good, actually, so, uh, so that's good. They didn't, yeah. they didn't quibble. Good. And they paid a lot of money for these. Yeah. <clears throat> so, okay. But they are beautiful. But they yeah. were. <laughs> they will be again. Well. Okay, so I'm going to set you up on the bench here so that Tony can film. Well, it will film Tony. And he'll talk you through it as he goes along. So it's like a mini welding tool. Yeah. And it's not, it's brazing rather than welding. Yeah. A cutting torch, I mean. But you could, uh... Could you cut metal with that? No, you'd Thin. have to have a, you'd have to have a big string of oxygen. Oh, okay. 
See, but this is just for heat there. And this is that's good, what, what are we waiting for here? You can see you're adjusting it. Blue flame. Oh. So this is a mixture of what? Two gases. <coughs> propane, propane and oxygen. Okay. So it's the oxygen that makes it burn hot. Yeah. It feeds it. Yeah. Oh wow. This is what you're looking for. This pepper on the end of the flame here. Ah. So is that the hottest point? Yeah. Oh, beautiful colour. Okay. Okay. So that little point in the inside the flame, is that the hot bit? This this That's right this right it. on the end of that point there is the hottest part. Yeah. And what you're doing, you're localising the heat. Yeah. With the other you couldn't localise it because the flame's too big. Okay. But this will burn right on the tip of that. Yeah, so this is for more intricate work. Which is more like, as I said, more localised heat. <laughs> Have you got to put those on over your glasses? Oh, yeah. So you warm that up first? Oh, that's, what's this flux? This flux, it makes the flux stick to your rod. Okay. okay. Glass will do me no good at all. It's glowing red, isn't it, that piece? Yeah. That's not going to melt it, is it? No. Looks like it's going to melt it. <laughs> oh, wow. I can feel the warmth, actually, and I'm a fair way away. Now, yeah, I'm going to stand back a little bit. It's quite fascinating, isn't it, watching the flame? That's not going to set light to your wooden box there, is it? No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> So how hot would it have to be for that to actually melt? Oh, about another, well, about another thousand degrees of it. Oh, right, so there's no chance that it's going to get that hot. One would hope not. So would it go white? It would go white and then drip. Right. So if it starts going white, we're in trouble, guys. Yeah. So what is it? It just, it just drips bits of metal into the joint, does that? Yeah. Then do you clean it up afterwards once it's, once it's sort idea. of set, cooled yep. down? Right. And does it actually soften the metal up enough so that it actually mixes with this? Yeah. Right, so it's not like gluing it together? Oh no, glue... Right. You so try it actually bonds all the metal together. Try and mixes stick it. a candlestick in this and you... Uh, yeah, you it's got to be strong. Yeah, Tony only wants to repair it once. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's gone green now, that flame. Wow. That's what we want. There she goes. What's happening? It's starting to spread now. Oh, I see. So it's got to the point... You see, see it's flowing now. Oh, I can't really zoom in well enough to see that. Hang on. Let me try a bit more. Oh, yeah. Okay. See it there.
Right, oh, it looks a bit messy now. Oh, yes. So you're going to clean that up now? Well, when, it's, uh, when it cools off, yeah. It's very hard to hold the camera steady at this level of magnification. Okay, well, how long does it take to cool off then? Well, I could chuck it in a bucket of water, but you're, uh, you're liable to crack it. Oh, don't do that. So uh, we'll let that cool off by itself. Oh, okay. And that's what we want to do next, across there. Hang on. Well, across where? Across the top here. Oh, so you're turning it over. Yeah. And you're going to do the other side of it. Yeah. Hmm. Then it's going to be a lot cleaning up. Okay, I'm happy with that. Right, once that's, once that's cooled right down, I'll get a Dremel on there and clean all the excess. The other ones, on that one over there, are not as bent as much, so I'm hoping to um, straighten them out without heating them up. The handle of this one was so almost bent at 30 degrees, there was no way it was going to straighten up without cracking and uh, snapping off as it did. Out the front, and it's got one out the back as well, so it's not the same person, though. But for this one, it's got it's got the male face on the front of this one, there's a male face in front of this one, so I don't know whether you'd have that the same. And if it's in a dinner party, it'd be the same all the way around, so I don't know whether to put. The female face on the front, there. Oh, mind you, no, no, that's the same. So I don't know what to do about that. It might be that there's no option. Let's see what it looks like around that side. Ah, yes, that fits better. That fits a lot better. We've got. Another side of that vase to go in. Ah, yes. That piece is there, which fits on top of this. But, and then you've got two rods, uh, which are probably hidden by these here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got. You've got a little thread there, which obviously threads into, yeah, threads in, there's a little pin there. Oh yes, that's what it is. That little pin there fits into the two pins here, and the two arms of the urn hold that in place. The other side of this in, which stops that top from moving there and then it's screwed in to the base I'll find out the pieces there I'll find a tray or something so I don't lose any small <laughs>
know the character of this thing when you touch it. And I'll just um, I'll just straighten this pin out in here, and then realise that when I put it in, they bent it, so it actually fitted. Oh. See, it's all bent up, unfortunately. <clears throat> That's far away from there. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. It's touching here, you see. Is this it meant to be on an angle? No, it's not meant to be on an angle. It's meant to be straight, isn't it? Because that's the candle holders. Well, yes. So is nice. there anything you can do about that? Yes. This will have an orientation where it stops and you take it around a bit more and then you straighten it up. Ah. Like there. It won't instance. snap, will it? It's too, it's too hard for you to bend it, isn't it? Eh? Hey? Are we going to have the same problem where if you heated it, it would break? Oh, yes. Ah. Okay. Because some of them are very much, look at this one, this one's really... Well, I haven't touched that one yet. No, I'm saying, but some of them are going to be a problem because they are really bent. <clears throat> it still looks bent. <laughs> I don't think it moved. Thanks for that vocal confidence. <laughs> oh. oh, that looks a bit better. I just want to use the minimum amount of force you can without breaking anything. Yeah. There's a the guy's not signed his name on the back of that book. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Let me have a look. Oh, look at that. What does that say? Hang on. Can you read that? More, more so. Oh, wow, that's better. Renee? No. Oh. I mean. I need to try and look at that. Can I get on? Sorry. <laughs> well, I'm also filming it on the other statue. It's the same same name, but it's very difficult to try and focus it. I love little toes. <laughs> Anyone read that? I'm sure it says A I M E. The boys probably know who this is by. It was probably listed in the millimeter. auction. Four millimeter. To me, that looks like Mosso E Me. Might look that up.
Quite a lot of work just on one, isn't it? Oh yes. You've got lots of different ones to do. There's just eight of the candle holders without all the other pieces. Because that's separate from her, isn't it? Sorry? Didn't you take this piece off with the... Yes. This piece here? Yes. No, that's it. It's fixed? No, that's it. It's fixed. So you don't try and bend that? I'm not going to try no. and bend. There's a rod that goes right the way through ah, here. Ah, right, OK. No, I'm not. So... That's you know, it. It's looking so much better already. It's as good as it gets. Yeah, it's looking so much better. All I've got to do now is take the other one apart. So Tony thinks he didn't go any further with this one. Uh, but we, this is sort of how it started. You can see how no, this, this, this wonky here, they are. This here was bent at almost 30 degrees. Yeah. This is not as bad. Oh, so you, you've done the worst this, one. This was worse. A yeah. Lot worse, yes. And if we look at the angles on these candle holders on here, Tony will straighten them up as best he can, but obviously he doesn't want to risk breaking it. And it's the same thing with the vase, isn't it? It is slightly, slightly more wonky with the vase. Yes. Yeah, it really can't be helped. And then you've got to deal with the base. Sort yes. out the, the fact that it's all skewiffy on the base. Um, is there a bolt on the bottom of that? Yeah. Yeah, and then the missing pieces. On the sides well, here. Well, they're not missing. They've just come over apart. there. Yes. Yeah. We're resin them on. I'm going to have to put a gouge around here. Yeah. Deep into the side there, so I've got something to put me resin on. Right. Tony's trying to get these finished because we are going to the chateau for dinner on Monday. So Tony's hoping to have these finished by then. Anyway, you're going to dismantle this second one, yeah? Yep. So if you can just show us the pieces as you go along and just hold it up near the camera for me. I've taken these three pieces off the top already. Right, show us. Oh. Is there, is there a, there's not a candle holder on the middle bit, is no. there? Right. I don't know whether they do that, where you can take this piece out and put another oh, candle. Oh, you can in there. actually use that as another candle. Yeah. And I fancy this would be a what, snuffer? Candle, candle snuffer, perhaps, or something. Is I don't it? know, but you it's certainly funny. could put another one in there, yes. Yeah. Okay. Is that screwed together there, then? Yeah. They're all separate castings. Yeah. It's very, very great quality, isn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, tiny weeny screw. Yeah. We'll find out why this base is moving all over the place. There's a nut on the bottom there, obviously. I'll tighten that in. See that nut on there, look. Somebody's handmade that. Unbelievable. 
All right, Tony's taken the base apart here. Obviously, he's weighted down. It's like a piece of stone. Um, and this is heavy. This is slate. So it's held on by little pins, the moulded piece, and then there's a bolt that goes right through the middle. Yeah. yeah up, and then the figure bolts onto the base. And then she's got a big metal rod going right the way through, which holds on to this urn. And the rest of the candle holders, it's, yeah, it's quite complicated, isn't it, time? Yes. Oh, you're just trying to bolt it all back stable now? Well, the pin's missing, you see. Pin ah, in, yeah. So that's it's, why it was wobbly. It was off. So what's the plan? Well, I've drilled it out and put a new pin in. Oh, I see. What's this? This one's still there? Yes. Ah, I see. Okay. That stops it twisting around. Yeah. That's it's it. very fancy, isn't it? With all this, this yes. is lovely. I love that. That is, yeah, very detailed. Pinned missing here. Okay, so you got the pin missing on the second part. Do you want a cloth or something to put that on? No, no. There, there's a pin missing there as well. You see? That's why that one's twisting as well. So yes. we need to put another pin in that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All these parts that come to pieces. Ooh. Yeah, that's sorry, I'm in your way. Yeah. pin one's coming out I think. Yeah. Oh where are they? I'll get on there properly. There's two look, there's two holes oh, there, so yes. and obviously got it wrong the first time, didn't they? Yeah. Oh. It looks like it needed twisting very slightly towards this corner. If you try to put it back Yeah, then look at this corner, it looks like it needs to... Ah, is that better? Is it down far enough? It's not, is it? So is that because of this one or because of that one? No, that's too tall, probably. Ah. We didn't make the hole bigger. That's good. Okay, we we'll start building this now. Brilliant. Yep. What? You, you're referring to the other one as a guide, are you? Just nice. <laughs> to build it back together. So, which part is the front? 
the piece with the marble. decorative marble on the front. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Here yeah, we have the. So, our her pins, okay. Yeah. What screws into that then? There must be another long bolt somewhere. It's here, somewhere. Is it set? Here. Oh, okay. It's... It's a little bit wobbly. Is there a pin that's not sitting in there? No, it's not to do with the pins, I don't think. Hmm. Look, the base is not flat. No. Ah. Do you think it's always been like that? Don't know. I wouldn't have thought so. By the time the bolt goes into the bottom of that, that should stabilise it, shouldn't it? I don't know. Mm. I fancy right. it's been uh, it's been bent. Yeah, look. Because th that's how the pins got smashed off. Where they? Where yeah. They... And you think that even the base has been bent? Must have really been hit hard. Oh, dropped yes, absolutely. From a great height, mustn't it? It does look quite wonky actually, even looking at it from here. Yeah, I can see it from here. I can see how wonky that is. It's here. Where? Oh, yeah. Here. Yeah, oh yes, definitely. I can see it's not straight. But you can't straighten that out. I can see there's a dip here. Mm. Yeah, look, it's definitely wonky. Yeah, it's clattered that so hard that they've knocked all the pins off and dented this. Yeah. It's probably literally fallen off the back of a lorry, hasn't it, somewhere? Someone's dropped it from a big height to do that much damage. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's going to take you a while, isn't it? <laughs> I wanted to see you put it all back together. Yeah, so do I. Yeah. Mm, it's still bobbing quite a bit, isn't it? There. Oh dear, but I don't think you can really straighten that, can you? I can see, I can see where your fingertip is, it's really wonky. See what's happening is, where they've knocked it, see that pin in the middle? This. Yeah. It's now it's proud of the it. sides, so it's rocking on this pin. So, can you grind a bit more off of I that? I can grind a bit more off of that, yes, that I can. That might help then. The battery's dying. Well, I'm going to stop this because obviously you're going to carry on doing this, but I want to see you reassemble it, don't you? So it's still tapping away. Getting there, isn't it?
Yeah. One last bit. One last bit. <laughs> Tony's he's a bit of a perfectionist, obviously. But it's taken you a while, hasn't it? Oh, that's much more stable. I'm happy with it. Yeah? Is yep. she going back together now? Yeah. That's this, good. this is why it's moving because this is moving, yeah. Oh, why is that? Because we're twisted it, the belts are coming under. Oh, okay. Even that's going to help then. Look at the old fashioned square bolts on it. And they're not square, that's the thing. Well, no, but somebody's made them. Yeah. Well, I'm saying they're not, they're not like our little ones that have the hexagon on. No, it's the not old that. fashioned ones always were square, weren't they? But these are not square. It's square-ish. Yeah. 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 Oh, yes. That's well done. That's him. Wow, that's so much better. Mm, yeah, then I've got to turn this over. I, I want to do the... To do the bolts. Yeah. Can I help if I put the camera down? No. Oh. Ah, well done. Has that got a square one on it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hang on, something is still... That's my desk. Oh, sorry, yeah, it's the bottom of it, yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah, that's much, much better, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Solid again. There's still a little movement there. I'm oh, can you tighten it? A little. Okay. You're getting much closer though. Is it this piece? You can see the gap underneath here. Under here? Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, here we go. You're going to take it apart again. Right, I'm going to switch this off because I need to charge it. Right, are we ready to put it back now? Yeah. You happy now? I'm ecstatic. Look, it doesn't move at all. Excellent. Have you bolted it? Yes. You've already done the upside down bolting oh, it. Yes. Yeah, okay. So, firstly, it's the base of the. Urn. What are we calling that? An urn? It's yeah. It's a Greek urn. It's a Greek urn. <laughs> How much is a Greek urn? How much does a Greek urn? I have no idea, That's two for two bubble week. <laughs> No uh, ones are the best. Oh, she's not holding that. No, I know. The other one is actually it's touching closer. the... Oh, no, does it, it turn around a different it, way? No, it's pinned. So whoever made yeah. it, unfortunately, there's a, there's a screw but behind it. Will the urn turn around? Is it better no, if no, it's... No, it's got, it's got it can pins only go in one it. way. So it can only go there. It's got pins in it. Okay. Although, having said that... Well, that's what I'm saying. Is it... Is it... Ah, so it might do. No, oh, it can only go one That's way. not better, no. No, it sits perfectly. It's no. only got a picture on one side, the face. No, it's got picture, the face is both sides. But it cannot go any other way. It cannot go any other oh, way. Okay. 
I'm certainly not going to try bending her arm. Uh, no. <laughs> Really? From this angle, you can't sort of notice it. <laughs> Tony's trying to work out the puzzle. Ah, now you've got handles for the urn, or does that go separately? Sorry? These these little pieces here. No, they go on afterwards. Oh, okay. Oh, lots of pins in the bottom of that one. Yes. Oh, that's holding on the arms. Yeah. Right. Okay. Ah. Oh, there's a little screw that goes in there. Yeah. Paranoia about dropping these screws on the oh, floor. Oh, don't. They are so, so tiny. Can you see, even see those? Yeah, very tiny screws. Yeah, please don't drop it on the floor, Tony. <laughs> oh, I see. So this is the urn handles. Yeah. It's very pretty. Don't you drop that screw. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, is there a screw in the bottom of those as well? Yeah. Only one screw. Oh, it's just in the bottom, sorry, not the yeah. top. It's just a pin, is it? Yeah. Oh, I see. Then you've got two more of these. Have you not got to try and straighten this out? Not yet. Oh. That's it. Ah. That's very bent, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Yeah, is it safe to try and bend it though? Oh, is it going to break? I don't know till I try. Ah. Um, is it worth altering that top piece of that slightly to no, that, straighten the angle? No, I don't think that so. won't look very good. Uh, all right, Tony's trying to find a socket to fit inside the candle holder. Oh, You've got to get it back out. Do you want to put some WD-40 on it just in case? <laughs> it's like getting a ring stuck on your finger, isn't it? Uh, got some leverage here then, aren't they? You can't like, get much leverage on the top bit though, can you? Yeah. Oh. Huh. Oh, I think I saw that move. We like that. Oh, it still looks wonky as you're doing it up. Yes. Oh, too much. Oh, no. Put it off, though. Oh. Oh, another attempt. It's looking less wonky. Do you think? 
Still, yeah, you can still see it as it goes down, can't you? How wonky that is. I think it's the actual pin. <laughs> ah, it's better. Well, look, it's better from this angle. Oh, I'm just looking at it from a different way, I think. You see what I mean? It's definitely looking straighter from here. And from here. With it. Oh yeah, that's much better. It's, that's a whole lot better. Yeah, it definitely looks straighter. When you see Patrick Stewart, yeah. you've got to put the candle in the end first, then put the candle in there. Because if you try and start wrestling with a candle in the top, you'll bend these up again. Oh, okay. So this comes out. You yeah. thread the candle in there so that the put, candle's tight. Put the candle in there first with a bit of hot wax or whatever. Yeah. And then and just then, put, then put it in, in there. Afterwards. Else you, this is so... It's so... Um, well, it's quite uh, fragile on that piece, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and especially with the top piece. But then... Yeah, yeah, so they can either use that with the top in, or they can take that out and have an extra candle. Yes. That's really heavy. But yeah, that's really pretty as well. Okay. Is that one finished? Yes. So there's no marble off of that one? No. So that one's completed. Well done. So the other one's just got a piece of marble put back. Yeah, that's it. Right, and his last little jobs. Oh, so it was it was glued on with something, was that? I don't think so, no. I think they oh, smashed it off. But this is on the outside. Oh, so how how know. was it attached? Has it got pins in it or is it No 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 it's just they just smacked it about so much that they smacked So it you think it. this was a whole piece of No, it's not because it's made of this is if you like veneers. Yeah. If you like but marble veneers. And, and that's a and piece of base, stone, isn't it? The base piece of stone or um, or pottery or what? Oh, not pottery, but yeah. Yeah, so they must have stuck that on there somehow. I don't know. I the veneers, I mean. They I must have know. glued it on. I don't know. Anyway. What are you going to put it on with? Uh, resin. Oh, I suppose you don't want a piece of wood. The chip out there, but fortunately, it's out the back. Yeah, nothing you can do about that, really, is there? No, it's got to, it's got to stay there to dry, hasn't it? Yeah. I'm still looking at the details on this. You keep noticing things. I'm just looking at her, her hair. How amazing is that? It's like ringlets. Hmm. I'm wondering if there is is it possible to put something in that corner. 
I don't know. The only thing you could put in there, I fancy, is some... Um, could some, you put some putty in there? Some, that would no, go hard. No, no. Car body filler is what you want in there. Have we got some? No. Oh. That'd be a project for, for, uh, for Patrick or Stuart, probably. Um, will they be able to do it after the... Yeah. Yeah, they probably will, actually. Right, Tony's attached the first piece. He's using this resin. Can we have a quick look? This is a resin that mixes itself in the tube here. This will set quite quickly, won't it? Oh, quite, yeah. And this, this is quite expensive stuff, but it comes with two nozzles. So as soon as you take the nozzle off and put the lid back on, you get a second go at using it, don't you? Oh, yes. Is that enough to grip it? Oh, yes. We don't do much using out, do we? <laughs> no, if you put too much in, it would be a barrier and it, would, it wouldn't... Uh, it wouldn't go together properly. Right. So you're just going to tape this together and then allow it to dry overnight? Oh yes, yeah. It'll probably dry within seconds actually. It will do in yeah. a hot temperature. You've only got minutes. Yeah. Brilliant. Well done, Tony. Very good. Oh, we've come to the chateau for dinner. And they've put one of the candelabra on the table. Doesn't that look pretty? They are so beautiful. Well done, Tony. I think you made a really good job of those. Patrick and Stuart were really pleased with them. Anyway, if you'd like to treat Tony after all that work he did there, then you could buy us a coffee or, in Tony's case, buy him a beer. I'll put the link for that in the description. That's below the video here. Or uh, there's that square thing that you scan that'll be on the screen now anyway thank you all for watching click like if you'd liked it and please subscribe if you haven't as very soon we're going to have another update on the bridal suite which won't be called the bridal suite for much longer but anyway there'll be a update on that and there'll be the reveal on the finished bathroom so if you don't want to miss that please subscribe if you haven't that really helps us as well so it doesn't cost you anything, doesn't cost you anything to like, and it helps us a lot. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for your continued support. And we'll see you all again really soon. A bientôt.